Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to make a Flappy Bird game with Vivo Shishak. So firstly, we create a folder and remember to download the resource files, including picture, picture like this, and also some power here, some sound files, which will help you to make your video game, your Flappy Bird game, will be more attractive. So, uh, after that, we uh, just do Visual Studio. Visual uh, Studio and open. Let's bring it here. In here, we just create a new project. Uh, we choose a C Sharp theme from App.net framework. Here, we are uh, naming it a uh, Flappy Bird, for example. And choose the location for this. This will be in here, close to the resource. Like this. And create. Visual Studio create for us this area to programming. Firstly, uh, we change the text of the form. This will become a floppy bird game. Like this. And, okay, so. Uh, from here, we should a uh, color. For this form, the back color should be blue. Light blue. Like this. And, we add uh, four pixel box. In here, pixel box 1, control C, control V, pixel box 2, pixel box 3, and pixel box 4. So, the pixel box 4 would be the ground. So, we're naming it ground. Pixel box one should be type top. Pixel box two should be the bird, and pixel box three should be type button. Button. Okay, that sounds great. So for the pie button, we find image and import the suitable image here. Okay and choose a stress image like this oh it looks great right this is a ground so we come to the image and choose a picture of ground okay so we stretch image here this one Image Sketch image And longer I think the form It should be a little wider And yeah The pie should be smaller Okay, so we choose the picture for the bird Okay, we stretch in it also. Wow, it's all good, it was a bit smaller. Alright, so we choose a label. Here. And the label should show score. Uh, so we change the fonts of this. Fonts. Okay, change the fonts. There should be quite bigger in bold and here oh I think it's too big then make it smaller okay it looks nice and the back color should be changed the back color let's see what we have transparent oh it's not work let's look another suitable color not orange this go it looks much better I think this is the label one so we change the name become score text like this oh it looks nice and we add one more thing which is a timer and 
Wait, can we gain Tama? Gain Tama. Alright. So, we choose the game Tama. Go to the event and choose Tick. Uh, yeah. Okay. In this Tick event, we will make the bird gravity up and down, but let's make it later. Firstly, we create some variable which is pi speed equal to 8 and gravity equal to 5 and score equal to 0 and also choose event of the form this is key up and key down key down and key up so here if the key is down so we choose uh, if e key code equal to key space gravity equal to minus 5 and if key up gravity equal to 5 so in game time click we write but dot top equal plus and equal gravity and pi top uh, but top equal to gravity Okay, and one more thing to change here, uh, choose the timer, go to property, change server to 20, and enable the timer. Okay, let's see what we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, as you can see, when I press space, it's moved up. And if I don't, if I'm not fresh, it's moved down, alright? It's all good. Next. To make the pipe moving, so we put in here. Pi top, dot, left. This means we move the pi top to the left. Equal, minus, equal, pi speed. And pi top and pi button f minus equal to pi speed 2. Ah, uh, no. Pi button f equal to pi speed. Alright. And then now let's check. As you can see, it's my bird is moving now. Alright. Next, we say. If pi top left chop dot left smaller than minus fifty, so pi top left equal to um five hundred and score plus plus. And if pi bottom left small smaller than minus 80, 80, so we move pi top left to 400 like this and uh, score plus plus. And if the bird not Bounce dot intersection with pi button dot bounce let's copy it to make it faster and or the bow of the bird intersection with pi top bow or the 
but wow intersection with um growl dot bow so we do the end game function and enter and generate a function which is end game in here don't need to throw anything Okay, and in the end game function, what should we do is game timer stop. Score tick. Dot tick. Minus equal. Game over. Alright. And let's see what we have now. So I have to move to another screen for, for testing. So I press start in here. And you can see my floppy bird. It's moved to the end game function. Oh. There's something wrong here. Put it to 900, 800. There's something wrong in here. Then, oh, we just uh, put in here one more thing to see the score text. Score text equal to score. Score dot to sing. Go check, dot check. Let's see what we have. We have something here. Ah, the wrong thing is here, the pie top. This is the pie bottom. Alright, let's start. Alright, they are here. It's cool, huh? Just bring them to 500 and let's see, 600. Oh, no. It's still in the frame. 900. Oh, no way. You cannot get away. 900 and 800. Oh, it's look good now. Nice. So, the next thing to do is some sound for this. Just to make a sound, we uh, choose the uh, library of So we use the library of system not media. Ah oh, no. System not media. Okay. So, firstly, we make a sound player. Sound player equal to a new sound player. 
Team Nikita We say the Sorrow player Dot Sorrow location Key down Red So We find a location for This Let me find Here is the project folder And the resource in here We choose um, Win Copy as part That's in here Do not allow the stain here. Okay. Let's check. Is there anything change if we break the key down? Oh, no. We need to make the sound player play. Alright, so you can hear some sound in here, it's look good. And we put the sound in when we make the key up. Let me change the part. Key up. Should be this way. We change the part. In the end game function, we also need to make some sound. This is going to be a hit. Wow, this is the sound of the hit. And when they score, we also need to put some sound of scoring. Point of the attack. Alright, so let's see what we have now. One more time. Okay, so this is what we have now. And yeah, congratulations. So you can have a, a happy birthday. So enjoy the game and goodbye and see you again. <laughs>